I even was open to adoption a long time ago. I've never, I, I don't know. It, I've always, I'm, I'm, I'm not able to adopt, and I can be honest with myself, and I say because I feel like as a Black American man, knowing mm. the history of my grandparents and stuff, I can have mm. babies. Uh -huh. I'm gonna do it as long as I can to keep that bloodline strong. Now, hey, I think I can dig it. I think adoption is a strong suit, and for yo, for those of you out there adopting, or you can have kids, and mad love and respect mm -hmm. because those children definitely need families, right? And love, but be the right family. But as long as right. I can produce, I think it'd be a disservice to my ancestry heritage, yes. my heritage mm -hmm. to not try to spread the blood and keep it going as long as possible amen so, i'll take that i mean if if straight say say my wife couldn't have kids a part of that we've had a discussion before we're gonna get a surrogate mm -hmm. because i just feel so strongly about it heard it um so it's i'm not strong enough to do that. i'm not strong enough to adopt um i'm not strong I'll enough to but it's not for everybody. Yeah. It's not for everybody. Like, matter of fact, my two youngest siblings are adopted, which mm -hmm. you would never know. Like, mm -hmm. you to at honest, all. I you would never know. Shocked me by this. People, people are like, man, they look just like yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't tell. What can you say? What can you say? You it's just tell. the fact that um, there was a time when there was a need that our family saw. Um, we had ample amounts of love because that's just the, the household we live in mm -hmm. and they fit right in like it was amazing it was the best yeah. thing ever which is one of the reasons why i'm so open to it is mm -hmm. because i've seen it firsthand yep. I've actually makes sense um i've actually heard the other side of the story as far as foster care where the bad side of things happen like yeah um, my uh i like i said my my mother was out there busy when we were younger and my mm -hmm. little sister and i but my auntie mom's dude she took us in because my older cousins mm -hmm. had been in the system they had been molested so on and so forth and they had been taken from my from my other auntie because she was also acting crazy when she was younger so um we got them back later in life um one of them actually is in prison now mm -hmm. for murder um and the other one he, he's just it, so damaged she was so lost in a lot of ways so when you hear about a lot of times you see people speak extremely of, uh, of adoption and mm -hmm. stuff like that but i've got to see it firsthand yeah so uh, it's 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 a rough it's game, a fickle man. system though, man. Because just like with it's, anything, it's overworked. Just like with anything in America, to be honest with you, that you have to really pay attention to the to the possibility of corruption. As in, that's a good um, way of putting. I like that. Of, I like that a lot. Of people misusing a good thing. I like that so which much. Is deplorable, which needs to be policed, which needs to be like department of justice needs to really take that into account because there's too many stories of people that come too out many stories. and are broken facts there's i don't even know how many years of therapy that would take to, to to piece people back together to the point where it's like they're damaged they're going out into relationships causing more damage mm -hmm. they're not even healing to be able to say, you know what, I'm having a child in a healthy relationship or a healthy space in myself to be able to rear another human being to be affluent, to be a pro proper, uh, positive uh, person in life. Yeah. I think it's it's one of those things where they're so, you're, you're so hurt mm -hmm. that you get off, you, you you appreciate and you you start liking hurting other people to try to it's make like, yourself feel better. It's like the wire switch. Mm -hmm. It's like you're... you're pluses are now minuses and the minuses are now pluses and i'm just like you think that's what the world's supposed to be Wait. your perception has changed yep. it literally has been tainted yeah and i've i've read reports oh uh, my jaw got tight just now <laughs> I've, no serious bro. Like, yeah, i mean you're just thinking about I, stuff. i've read reports about people's people that have molested and misused like i don't I I'm sensitive about children. Okay, you should be. I I if okay. Thank God for God. One. Thank God for my father introducing me to God. Thank God for my mother teaching me how God loves. Because if I didn't have them, I would be a violent, angry, crazy madman running around, and I would be the guy in jail. Because I know I'd be there already that would take those people that do bad things to children mm -hmm. and they're done i i am extending my stay here at this lovely resort we'll call prison <laughs> to be able to 
Lord, and you, and I'm being facetious, but at the same time, That's like serious. my Super soul serious. Yeah, no. really feels this this deep anger for people that do things like that. I don't yeah. understand. If my daughter, oh, if just looking at my child, and and if my daughter had to ever experience anything like me and my subs had to experience, I'm going to jail. Straight and up, I'm, I'm willingly going to jail. Straight it's up, it's one of those things where I'll you, call you ever you. seen the movie South Central? Mm -hmm. And he talks about he, when he goes, uh, he the main I forgot his name, OG Bobby Johnson. Okay. He goes to prison yeah. and is his first cellmate. He tells him he tells him eventually why he goes to jail for mm -hmm. killing the boys that killed his son. Yeah, I will be that dude. Dude, I, yeah, it, and it's it's an unfortunate truth you you will live with. But yeah. if, if if my daughter ever has to endure anything that me and mine had to endure growing up, I'm going to jail. You're gonna visit me behind that glass, yeah, baby. For sure, Daddy. Sorry. You know what I'm saying, like, and I, and, and I, I do think it in, because in later in life they come to appreciate that too. But well, I mean, and at the same time, of course, here's what what I've seen. There's always going to be that selfish moment in a person's mind and a child's mind where they're like, "But you weren't there for 100%. me." 100. That's right. understandable. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. But Daddy had to take care of his business for mm -hmm. you, baby. Or else you wouldn't be in the mindset that you are in right now. You wouldn't be in the protected state. You wouldn't have all of the attention of everybody in your community, in your environment, paying attention to you because of what I did for you. So therefore, comma, baby, I'll take the heat. I'll take the heat. 